Uh, unfortunately, I broke that off right here. So, new condenser coil for me. Let's see if we can get the fan off and see. Yeah, let's see if it'll even spin. Yeah, if I can get all the uh, all the peeling paint off, it'll probably sound better. As you can see, it's kind of falling apart. Everything is covered in sand. For the 13. See, there's one here and there's one up there. And those are not 13s. All right, there's the 10. We got this one here, and then there's one over here. Got it to move a little bit. Tightening it, which helps crack it loose. Oops, I'm sitting on it. Time for recycling. Ooh, look at all that sand. Sand everywhere. Locking ears, one, two, four, five of them have to be pried up. Be able to unscrew that. Maybe. Or we can just try to take it off the side. Probably going to be easier. You can still get the fans, but the brackets you cannot get. I don't want to have to buy either one of them. That motor is just fine. Let's fold these locking tabs back over. I'm not going to try to hold it by three little bolts. I could probably use some motor cleaning. A little bit of motor clean on it, but I don't have any. The bearing on this side is sealed. There's nowhere to oil it, so...
I mean, it should spin more than that. It's a little tight. Let's see if I can get in the middle, down inside, past the commentators. It is not going to reach that far in, is it? Well, it might. Yep. Let that run down the uh, rotor shaft. I'm not going to hit it there because that's where the brushes are. I can go like there. Let it drip and run down. And we'll flip it over. Let it run back the other way. This thing is going to need. Oof. wire wheel and some rush treatment and hope it stays in one piece well that's what it looks like with most of the scale removed it's pretty punky right there but it'll hold so I think I'm going to clean it up some more, throw some rust converter on it. I'm going to throw some paint on it. I could probably scab on the outside of that, but I mean, you see that little bit right there? That's awfully thin right there. I'm definitely not gonna be able to weld it. It's just gonna burn apart, go up in smoke. So maybe it's, if I got any sheet metal left, to make a piece and put some rivets just to help hold it. Mm, that's going to be tough though because the fan blade <sighs> runs pretty close to that. So I may have to use epoxy. That is going to break. Which isn't the end of the world actually because the main support frame here, that's the um, cowl for the blades. Um, it'll probably work better if I covered that. I don't know. I'll come up with something. So I thought I'd probably cut and weld on that, but what if I can bend that and this will contact this thicker metal here. We can sand that down and do light spot welds to hold this on and then I can put uh, some epoxy along to help reinforce it that is pretty close that needs to get tucked in actually the whole thing needs to be straightened just a little I need to bend each end just a little a little bit there and there. I think that'll work.
it's not coming off. That'll give it structural rigidity. Now sand it down and throw some paint on it. I think that'll hold pretty good. And we got good uh, rigidity here on each you know, on each side. Now the question is: Is the fan blade going to fit in here? Because it's a pretty tight fit. Let's find out. I throw a little adhesion promoter and a little uh, silver paint on the fan. I gotta run this through here. In the middle. And then I can line it up. Like that. There we go. No. Uh oh. It's hitting right here. Sitting from there, here to here. Let's see if that made a difference. It's better, but it is hitting right here. That looks bent. Two hours later. Well, I ended up having to cut this section off because of how close it is here to the blade, but oh, uh, it's hitting. Well, it's not bolted down. That's part of the problem. Let's put the knife on it and see. That one blade right there. Almost right there. actually mounts like this. If I can hold the wires on it. Come on now. Ow. It's getting a little toasty when it's short. So, what to do about this section here? <sighs> I don't know if I have any more sheet metal or not. Mm. I don't really want to mess with fiberglass. Honestly, it's, I think it's blowing enough breeze and it is actually going to be facing down. So which is why it rotted out because all the junk and dirt water collected right here and rotted it out. I'm just going to leave it off. See how the AC does. If I have problems with the, um, with it cycling a lot from too much pressure, uh, then, uh, I'll look at 
scabbing on something to rebuild the shroud here, but it's blowing plenty of air to keep the uh, condenser at temperature. So I'm gonna take this off and prime the mounting bracket and paint it. I'm gonna put undercoating on it instead of paint. I'll cut it up and actually need to fill those back over. Good enough. Put this aside and uh, we'll come back to it once I get all the other AC parts back in. I'm waiting for some to come over and we gotta put this I'm going to put the um, pressure switch into this, but I'm going to leave it sealed up for now because once you open that, um, the desiccant starts to go, starts to suck moisture. All these parts are sealed off, so I'm leaving them sealed for now. <laughs> 